Tonight we are in Hollywood at Madame Tussauds. There's Marilyn Monroe and Jessica. You are absolutely beautiful, you know that? Blowing her a kiss. She looks so realistic. I love you. So the plan today, aside from hanging out with Lucille Ball, it's really just a wax picker. She looks so realistic. But the plan today is to cover this entire wax museum piece by piece. They even have a new horror section, which we are really excited about. They didn't have it in Orlando. So, Madame Tussauds Hollywood, the Grim Life Collective. It's come my way wherever I go hard luck is that it stays Good luck never stays a day A bad luck's always a coming my way Every chance Jessica gets to have wings she does and these look rather beautiful on her Hashtag Tucson's LA We turned the corner and we thought this was a real person but it's not Kylie Jenner she looks just like her. I'm feeling very Madonna right now. It says Vogue and they're playing Madonna in the elevator. The experience begins on the third floor. I feel so weird. Look how realistic he looks. That's George Lopez. We got Elton John and right behind him, Simon Cowell. Man, identical. Wow. I feel like this is going to call for some sort of sexy kind of pan up. But here's Rihanna. Looks like Jessica made a friend. And it's funny because Conan really is that tall. And Jessica really is that small. We have Angelina Jolie looking as good as ever. Hello, Angelina. Nice to see you again. Don't know much about you, but the name tag behind you says Zoe Saldana. So, hello Zoe. Michael didn't recognize Zoe Saldana, and I'm not really surprised that he wouldn't because the biggest movie she's known for is Guardians of the Galaxy. She's green. <laughs> oh yeah. Bosom. I was trying to fix it because it looks like she had a bad implant procedure or something. I don't know, but other than that, she's beautiful. I love her. I find it a little odd that I run into you again, Mr. Deadpool. You sound like a Bond name. Mr. Deadpool, how you doing? Now I know we're in Hollywood because it is Jimmy Kimmel. Because it is Super Bowl weekend, they do have a little bit of a thing here set up for it. There's Jennifer Lopez, Demi Lovato, and Shakira. That's cool. Is it me or does Justin Timberlake look kind of like a lumberjack? And check it out. There's Lord. So realistic. And Morgan Freeman, I kind of am expecting, half expecting at least, the voice of a god to come out of him. But nope, just a wax figure. Penelope Cruz, right next to Daniel Craig, James Bond. And over here, look how real she looks. Holly Berry, I mean seriously. Crazy. And look how amazing this Meryl Streep looks. Wow. I just really want to reach out and touch her face. Look how realistic that looks. Good old Jimmy Fallon. Aw, they even have a Betty White. She just had a birthday recently. She's looking absolutely beautiful in real life and as a wax figure. And of course, there's a Brad Pitt, but there's something a little off on him. I'm wondering if that's why he's in like the back corner of the third floor. They even have a little photo op where you can actually sit in a chair with Julia Roberts. I will say this, it is very loud here at the Hollywood Madame Tussauds. 
and floor number two is like old school Hollywood. Crazy. Joan Rivers. You getting ready to ask a question, an interview? Not with me. Good old George Burns, which is the devil and God all in one, standing right next to Bob Hope. Mr. Johnny Grant. So far, I'm going to have to say that this Charlie Chaplin is probably my favorite. And what we love the most about Madame Tussauds, they have props. And look how beautiful this setup is. Jessica, you fit right at home with old school Hollywood. I don't know if it's because of Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz, but there's just something extra magical about walking into this room and seeing her. How awesome. Jessica absolutely hates this movie, but here's Gone with the Wind. Hello, Clark Gable. Oh, and check it out. They have Gloria Swanson. Ginger Rogers and Fred Astaire. The setup they have for them is beautiful. Check it out, Tyrod Hughes. And there's even a James Dean represented here. All right, this has to be the coolest wax figure and display I've ever seen in my life. Who doesn't love Alfred Hitchcock? And get this, it's interactive, meaning you can pose with them. You ready for this? Let's do it. I turn my back for one second, and of course, Jessica finds a camel, and she gets on it. Beautiful even on a camel, mind you. I'm not a big fan of Christmas or Christmas movies, but I do love It's a Wonderful Life, mainly because of Jimmy Stewart. I am a big Jimmy Stewart fan. Oh, check it out. It is the shadow of Elvis Presley himself. Doing the jailhouse rock. That's right, baby. That's all right. Oh, look, Breakfast at Tiffany star, Audrey Hepburn. Wait a second. Very nice, Jessica. Very nice indeed. I turned the corner, and I seriously thought Jessica was standing there, but nope, it was Marilyn Monroe. Jessica, you are every bit as gorgeous as Marilyn Monroe herself. Jessica and I were just talking. We do not know what scene this is from. Humphrey Bogart, Catherine Hepburn. I want to say it's out of Africa, but I have no clue because I've never seen out of Africa. But it seems like it'd be out of Africa. Maybe I'm wrong. Am I right? Is it out of Africa? All right, world, we give you Moses. But to be honest, he kind of looks like Will Ferrell. Yeah, Will Ferrell. I'm a fan of Western, so I'm gonna do this in one fail swoop. There's Clint Eastwood going around to the saloon. Very cool. And we got John Wayne, and you ready for this? John Wayne was famous for wearing the color pink. Yes, folks, real men wear pink. But if we come over here a little further, you ready? My dad turned me on to these two guys here, the Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. And the real draw to this place is they have a horror section. Orlando, Florida doesn't have this. You ready to get scary? Oh yeah. Check out this setup for Dracula with a cross, a giant cross, mind you, and a wall of garlic. Oh my God, look at this mummy setup that they have. Now that is realistic. Oh, so realistic. Jessica is freaking out because of the bugs. 
Are you trying to kill the bugs? No, I like bugs. You like the bugs. Do you like the bugs too? I think he does. Not really very horror, but they do have Rocky Horror, Illusions of Horror, Rocky Horror Picture Show, and The Lips. Oh, wow, they have Frankenstein's monster. Hey, Jessica, do you think our backpack's big enough to take this home? We gotta have this. That's bad booty. Real bad booty, man. And over in the corner, they have a bunch of red balloons. And Jessica, we all float down here. Up on the wall, there's something that says home is where the horror is. And right below it, there's a giant, I'm talking giant television, like the movie Poltergeist. And oddly, look at the cross that's reflecting in the glass there. I think this is just a door, but it is very bloody. It's like a zombie apocalypse of some sorts. I just want to reach out and touch him. Hello? Hello? Anybody there? I'm gonna knock. Nope. Nobody's coming out. Or going in, obviously. I like that they have the Twilight Zone represented, but I feel like they could have done more with it. It's kind of hard to see the stars behind it. Well, here comes a spiral. I don't know. I mean, I get it. It works. But it could be a lot better compared to everything else that's here. And they have the Silence of the Lambs. What's up, little buddy? They invited me over for dinner. This is what happens. Here's Michael. This is awesome. Or shall I say, this is Grease Lightning. I mean, it really is John Travolta. That's bad booty. And they have Dustin Hoffman. Kind of reminds me of Savannah. Right now they're playing the theme song from Dirty Dancing over the, the loudspeaker and Jessica is serenading Tom Hanks. Or shall I say, Forrest Gump. There she goes. Don't take his chocolate. Her dream has finally come true. Star Trek. You're like the captain of your own ship now. Jessica's going in for a hug. She loves Star Trek. She loves Picard. How excited are you for the new TV show? Oh, I'm excited. Yeah? I'm waiting to tell you the episode so I can watch it. Alright, I think it's time for us to leave. I, lo I love you, baby girl. I'm gonna shave my head. I know that's supposed to be Rocky, and he's supposed to be all bad booty and everything, but does it kind of look like he's doing some sort of weird dance? And of course, Patrick Swayze and Jessica is dancing. They did dance on the log. enough a lot of people when they see me in person or comments here on YouTube they say I remind them of Jim Carrey because you do I, I can see that I am you. I'm very overly animated get in there I'll show you give me your best Jim Carrey impression that's pretty good yeah that's yeah, that pretty good yeah yeah it, it, it's, a, it's a close match I love fedoras. And they have Marlon Brando here from Godfather with a fedora. So realistic. Just like Orlando, the one here in Hollywood has Steven Spielberg. And I think it's a little bit better than Orlando's. Just saying. Say what? They have Quentin Tarantino and Uma Thurman. 
All right, this place rocks. Hey, Jessica, guess what? You can be in a Tarantino movie. Just grab those knives, those swords. Go ahead, go ahead. Go fight Uma Thurman. And action. Oh, that was awesome. And check it out. There she is. That is Bad Booty Man. And they even have Martin Scorsese. Oh my god, wait a second. Is that E.T.? There's a guy over here all bloody carrying a gun. Oh my gosh. It's Bruce Willis from Die Hard. It looks exactly like him. Even the Jackie Chan here is better in Hollywood. We got some Hunger Games. This time, Jennifer Lawrence. Katniss Everdeen. Even the wax Beyonce looks like Beyonce. Again, we have two beautiful ladies. Jessica and Madonna. I honestly don't know what is going on with the fries and Taylor Swift. But over here, that Lady Gaga is looking pretty awesome. That looks just like her. And the Michael Jackson is looking pretty bad. Just walked into the 90s room and there's Whitney Houston from the movie The Bodyguard. Alright, I'm just gonna say it. I actually like the movie Sister Act. Especially like when I was growing up in the 90s, Sister Act was a lot of fun. So, that's pretty cool and it looks just like Whoopi Goldberg. Wait a second. Britney Spears, isn't she the crazy one? Well, I'll be darned. It's a little hard to see because it's backlit, but they do have a wax figure of Selena here. And believe it or not, I am a fan. I mean, who doesn't like Selena? And they have Pierce Brosnan in here representing James Bond. All right, I'm slowly gonna creep up on Sarah Michelle Gellar because everybody knows she's Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And I don't want her to kick my butt. Well, maybe. Yeah, okay. I turned the corner and I noticed Cameron Diaz over here. And I was like, where's Jessica at? And I scan the room and I still don't see her. And then I realize that she's over here pretending to be a wax figure. <laughs> yep. Yep. I can see that. I'm here. <laughs> There's the Terminator. Arnold Schwarzenegger, hasta la vista, baby. And check this out. Jessica is standing there looking at the Terminator. And on the wall back here, you can see what he sees. Yep. That's my life. Terminator dance cam. And the Terminator dance cam takes us right to Tupac. We just walked into the superhero room and Jessica is obsessed with superheroes. Hey Jessica, why don't you go in there and give me your best superhero pose? There she goes. Bam, just like the rest of them. Wait, where, where'd Jessica go? All I see are wax figures. I get it, he's Spider-Man, but as a wax figure, he's wearing a mask, so it's a little hard to really judge how he looks. 
but he belongs here. One of Jessica's favorite superheroes is Thor. I can see up his nose. All right, if you had to choose Thor or Picard. How dare you? Oh, I dared, I dared. How about Fat Thor and Picard? Fat Thor is adorable. <laughs> so realistic, look at him. Samuel L. Jackson as Nick Fury. That works. And Robert Downey Jr. as Tony Stark, who played Iron Man. Oh, and you know the shield. It's Captain America and, you know what? I think it does kind of look like Chris Evans. Three floors of wax figures that were all absolutely amazing. I'm gonna have to say it. This Madame Tussauds here in Hollywood is a thousand times better than the one in Orlando. I love the one in Orlando. Don't get me wrong, it was awesome. But this one here, the quality of the wax figures just seemed to excel even more. You don't like that. I think they're both very good. Some of the characters maybe were sculpted a little bit better here at the Hollywood edition instead of the Orlando edition. But they both have really cool interactive areas and they're both very different. So if you happen to be traveling, check them both out because I think that you'll have fun at both of them. Thinking about it, I kind of feel like maybe Orlando had more of an interactive experience. Yeah, I think Orlando had a bit more of an interactive experience. They don't have, they're not in a standalone place like this. Um, well, this is in a mall too, like that one was, but they had, I think they had to use their space a little differently and I, they did it very well. Did you have a favorite scene? My, my favorite? Yeah. What was your favorite scene here? Star Trek. The Star Trek? Yeah. She's well, that and the horror section because cool. The horror section was phenomenal. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, but my favorite scene, believe it or not, was the Alfred Hitchcock one. I had so much fun with yeah. that scene. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. She's obsessed with Star Trek and Picard, just so you know. So I know we're like all over the place, but there was a lot to see here. Fun. Yeah, you did, and I got it on camera. I know. So if you do find yourself in Hollywood, Los Angeles, visiting all kinds of crazy things, do take the time, stop and visit Madame Tussauds here in yeah. Hollywood, and thank you. Madame Tussauds for having us here, letting us come in and film. It was phenomenal. We'd definitely be back. In We've been here for a while. We keep oh, yeah. going back into scenes because we had so much fun. We've been here for almost three hours. Uh -uh. Oh yeah. Oh, we got God. here about five. It's almost eight o'clock. I'm not hungry. Yeah. We got to get out of here. Thank you for joining us. Until next time. Bye. Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always a coming my way.